by Manning here. Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting below 40% from the field. Normally 50 and above shooter, 57% last year, 55% this year. Celtics have been all over him. The keys have been Grant Williams and Al Horford. Talked about it a bunch with Marcus Smart, Robert Williams, as well as Ime Udoka at practice here today outside our back center. I'm Bobby Manning. For the Garden Report, Let's dig into this matchup against Giannis and what has made the Celtics so successful here. It starts with that strong base for Grant, for Horford. These guys are incredibly strong. You see Grant at practice benching 100-pound dumbbells. That is a real serious base that he's able to play with out there. And you see in some of the film from Game 2, those guys taking blows standing firm in their spots when Giannis tries to bump them off their spots. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, those guys have had more trouble with that. So what the Celtics ultimately did in Game 2 was they didn't switch that matchup. Grant, Horford, those guys committed to defending Giannis on an island, one-on-one, -on -one, embracing that matchup, not sending as many double teams so shooters can help them, and ultimately the Bucks only end up shooting 16% from three. And Giannis held down to an 0-for-6 start, 2-for-12 in the first quarter. Other guys still problems when it comes to Giannis. And Robert Williams among them picked up five fouls in game five fouls in game two. And they're gonna need him to be stronger. Marcus Smart talked a little bit about a intricacy that he pointed out watching along the sideline when he was out in game two that he pointed out to Robert Williams to try to help him be in a better position to defend that matchup. Here's what he told him. Just really telling him to to embrace the bump, take the hit. You know, don't don't be afraid to be physical. You know, Giannis is a physical player, so you have to take that bump and uh, and just not give him that space. You know, you got to hold your ground. That's what a, that's what Al and, and Grant does a good job very well at. So just telling Rob the same thing and you know trying to help him out on that end. So is that going to continue to work? There's a lot of talk coming out of Game Two about is the Celtics shooting going to sustain itself? I think that's pretty obviously not going to happen. It's not even really a conversation. Forty-seven percent shooting from three. On 43 looks, 50 looks in the first game, shooting pretty well on that too. There's going to be a regression there to who they are, which I think is more of a 35% shooting team from three. But you do get open looks. Adam Taylor, Celtics blog, point out 26 wide open looks for the Celtics in game two from three. That's an area we saw the Bucks try to adjust a little bit to in game two second half there where they didn't close out as hard and didn't get as aggressive on those contests on one guy and leave others open. I think they'll stay home on the shooters a little bit more, you know, more in Milwaukee if Mike Boonerholtz is willing to adapt a little bit there. But the key adjustment is going to be Giannis. Is he able to take advantage one-on-one -on -one of those matchups against Grant, Horford, make those guys pay, have one of those 40, 50-point nights against them, pull up for some jumpers over them in the lane, hit a three or two. That's probably not the way he's going to do it, but it is in his arsenal. And in the second half, as we saw, just pummeling guys, trying to get to the free throw line. That ended up being a success for him on his way to 23 points in the third quarter. We think of Jalen Brown having a big first quarter. Giannis was even better in that third there. So Marcus told me they're going to have to mix up looks on him. No one thing's going to last. Ime said that coming into this series. So they'll have to continue to throw some doubles if he hurts them a little bit, even with the backline rotations being a problem against a really good passing team. I'm sure they want to stay with what's working so far, but Giannis, we remember, they were down 2-0 to the Nets in round two. Giannis went down in round three. They went down 2-0 to the Suns in the championship last year. So he bounces back as a player. He's not going to continue to shoot under 40% for an entire series, and he's going to be a problem on that Milwaukee side. So they're going to have to stay sharp against them. Ime saying all of the things that they've been able to do successful against him so far. Here's what he had to say about that. The job you've done on Giannis so far, I know Grant talked about kind of playing him on an island, not trying to double as much. How did that kind of flow from game one to game two, and what have you thought of the overall job on him so far? I'd say the overall job has been good. Uh, you know, the numbers, you know, more so than his points scored. Uh, you guys are going to score their points. It's more so the percentages that we're keeping him to. Um, limiting his uh, paint points, basically 76% at the rim. We've held him to 50 or less. So we're guarding him well one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, we want to mix it up and give him different looks. I felt after game one that we helped inappropriately at times, uh, gave up some of those threes when guys were in good position to guard him or, you know, he kind of baited a little bit. So we wanted to be a little more deliberate when we went on him 
you know, what situation is game two in NFL. We did that. So that's what I'll be watching for. Game three in Milwaukee on Saturday. Marcus Smart's availability still in question, but he does intend to play through the quad contusion. We did another video on that. And, of course, check out HelloFresh.com. Big reason we're going to be out there in Milwaukee. Great sponsors like HelloFresh. Slash playoff 16, you're going to get 16 free meals. Get something for yourself out of it, and as well as three free gifts for supporting the Garden Report, as well as HelloFresh. Great meals, pre-packaged, instructions are laid out, and you're going to be eating swell. After work, after games, whatever it is you got to do that keeps you from preparing all your food, going shopping, whatever it is you don't have time to do in your busy life, HelloFresh is going to make it happen. HelloFresh.com slash Playoff16, 16 free meals, three free gifts from our back center, Brighton. We'll be back here tomorrow for another Celtics practice session. Make sure to subscribe to Celtics All Access as well as CLNSMedia.com for all our coverage of the Boston Celtics. I'm Bobby Manning. Talk to you tomorrow.